Okay, this is Kyle McCall with PMI McCall Properties, and we were just at Paul's Storm's house that we were rehabbing. So now we took it inside so we could kind of talk a little bit better without being out in the heat. So, Paul, we we're at your house. Um, give us the story on how you got that house, um, and how you financed it, and how you make and how you're making that work. So I found this house through one of my wholesalers. Um, it's just a, a, a basic guy who does does lo loans from us, mm -hmm. and he just wanted to sell his house and I was like well I'm interested so he had some people come out I was I think he had four people come out so I was interested I did my homework on the numbers uh, you know I knew the purchase price I knew the re the ARV and then I kind of had an idea on rehab because I've used you guys mm -hmm. a, a lot so I kind of knew what that was so I made an offer so I found him as he was one of our clients selling a property you never know where they're going from you just don't they come from wholesalers realtors clients you look everywhere mm -hmm. I mean I just had a conversation with someone you, you look everywhere it's just numbers. It's a numbers game. If the numbers work, do the deal. If they don't, don't do it. Okay. So, do you have $120,000 <laughs> in your bank account to go do this? So, the purchase, the house appraised for like 123 Okay. So, yeah. So, what you're saying is, hey, how do you do this? I've been using hard money to do these. Even before I was with Investmark Mortgage, I was I was in IT, regular mm -hmm. dude. Saving up my commission checks and buying a rental house because I knew I wanted cash flow and long term, you know, a, a long term mailbox money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. So, uh, yeah, the house appraised for one twenty three. The way hard money works is we'll end up to on rental up to seventy five percent of the after repair value. So the numbers in this worked out, and I think I only had to bring like ten thousand to the table at close. So I bought a house that was worth 123. It had 30,000 rehab, and the purchase price thing was like 69, 66, mm -hmm. something like that. And so when I closed, it was 10,000. And hard money is a way to do that. You're bringing a portion of the money to the table instead of the whole 100, you know, 69 plus the 30 plus the closing. So it mm -hmm. works out really well. So hard money will let you buy a property for a fraction of the cost and let you buy it in terrible condition too. Now on a hard money loan, what are some of the things that the lender, being an investment, look at to be able to lend on a house? Definitely the after repair value. Okay. And the way we do that is we take in our, 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 we need access to the property for our appraisers. Our appraisers work for us and they can they deliver speed, that's for sure, so they can get in there quickly. So we need access to the property to get our appraiser in there when you're in contract. Um, we're going to look at the value on paper as well versus three sold comps in the neighborhood and try and get a good idea what the ARV is going to be. The whole point of that is to give my clients, uh, when we're doing hard money, an idea of, hey, what's your out of pocket? So my out of pocket was 10K on this. I'm looking to try and help my clients figure out what their out of pocket is going to be. And that really decides if it's a, a deal or not. Okay. So it's a little different than like if you go to Chase Bank. I mean, to get a loan from them, first of all, they wouldn't lend on that type of house. Right. But the other thing is, they're going to want anything and everything that you can imagine about you from oh, yeah. your blood type to who you dated in high school, right? That is a great point. You're talking about with a conventional loan. Mm -hmm. They want basically your kids. Yeah. <laughs> so with hard money, it's really simple. I tell people I have one requirement to apply. Our application is on our website. It takes like five minutes to come straight to me. You're talking to me. I'm calling you back. Um, you definitely should get pre-approved if you're looking for a house because we'll give you a sheet of paper, an approval letter, and you can go make your offer stronger. Uh, beyond that, it's really quick. Uh, apply. I don't need paperwork. I don't need a whole lot of stuff. I just want to make sure. I'm making sure that my clients are going to be successful. I'm looking for just certain things. And, and the bottom line is make sure you have enough money to close, mm -hmm. to start rehab, and then to make your payments. And I want you in and out. And, and when you're making an offer on a house of this nature and you're presenting that offer to, let's say it's a real estate agent or just an individual, it's not contingent upon financing. It's cash or cash equivalent. Yeah. So when you're taking your offer to somebody with a hard money loan versus somebody that's using oh, the yeah. bank, you, it's it's cash. I always yeah. present it as a cash it or cash, cash equivalent. Yeah. So it's not contingent upon your finance. It's all on the property Correct. and what the property's worth. Yeah. When you have that approval letter from an investment market or your hard money lender, that's it's just like cash. Mm -hmm. And we like to close in ten days also. So basically, using hard money versus let's just say conventional or, or your own cash, it, you know, our our offer looks really strong, and you know we can close in ten days, and that gives you cash or hard close in ten days. And if you're a seller, you're like, you want to buy my house in ten days, like this piece of junk. Absolutely, it works great. Well, and yeah, then you don't have to worry about is the buyer going to do an inspection and, and want this, like for we saw it, yeah. so many things that would not pass an inspection okay. there. So you don't have to worry about the inspection or any. So, for example, 
I bought a house a few years ago. They originally listed it for like two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They dropped it a little bit. I came in, did a, a cash offer, cash equivalent, yeah. Oh, yeah. and I offered one sixty. And I said, hey, I'll, and this was mid December, yeah, like right before oh, Christmas. Yeah. And I, I said, hey, I'll close by the end of the year. They had multiple offers. This was an MLS deal. Mm -hmm. They had multiple offers that were much higher than mine, but it was going to be thirty days, you know. Bank of America financing all these. They're going to do a home inspection. This house was built in 1960. Home inspector is going to tear it apart yeah. because of so many different variables. Um, so I said 160 cash close. Uh, it was like less than two weeks. So and, speed. And I and I got it. Yes. I got the thing. So yeah. it's not an insult. It's a convenience to the buyer or to the seller too. Absolutely to close quickly and give cash. Yeah. And so, know what they're getting. When they're so getting speed it. is a huge asset for uh, hard money too. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. So um, this is going to be a fun project. I'm looking forward to seeing how this all works. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and it's already made a lot of changes just in a couple of days. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about how you got into this. I mean, okay. you come from some big trust fund or what? <laughs> no. Okay. No, except, so I'm very local. I grew up in Rockwall. Mm -hmm. I went to North Texas. I'm a homer. I, mean, I love the Cowboys, whatnot. So I'd always liked real estate. Um, I went to North Texas. One of my fraternity brothers was a realtor. And he bought a foreclosure over in Corinth. And there was one down the street. He goes, hey, you ought to buy this house. And I was like, okay. It wasn't that big a deal. I, I did conventional loan then. I, I lived in the, the master bedroom. We fixed the rest of the house up. And it, you know, it took me a little while. And then I sold it after two years and kept all the capital gains. And I'm like, oh, hey. You're onto something. This is <laughs> awesome. I did it again. But then the market changed. Like yeah. in 2000, whatever. And it dropped. And then I, I found Lifestyles Unlimited. And I switched my game plan to buying rentals and cash flow. And so I was still just your average show working for an IT company. I would save up my commission checks and uh, I'd buy a rental. And I did it with hard money. I was using my Canon with Investmark Mortgage. And just do it. I'd do it the same way I still do it. So uh, instead of having to buy the whole property cash and then the rehab out of my pocket, I was leveraging my, you know, my position with hard money and, and getting houses like this. It's funny, it's not rocket science. There's nothing really new in real estate. Yeah. There's so many people out there that want to sell you all these new classes and training, but it boils down to it. There's nothing new. It's buy a good, solid investment property. Yeah. Let it ride. And and have, and have a great team. I'm a big proponent of having a good team. Like invest Mark Mortgage, McCall, uh, you have to do landlord services. Just all you have a good team that you can rely on, and you can. It's not. You know, you rely on those people too, and it, it helps out. So that's what I did too. And your team went back all the way to college. You said your fraternity brother. Oh yeah. Shameless plug, Lambda Chi Alpha. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was really funny. Uh, you know, that's what's funny. We talked earlier. How do you find deals? Realtors, friends, people, Facebook. Um, I, I'm a big Confederate fisherman, and, and one of my buddies called me, and he sold his house in Roanoke. Which, by the way, you guys did that rehab uh, over in Roanoke, and that was a flip. It turned out to be a really good deal. So. You can find deals everywhere, and hard money is a great way to, to maximize yourself and get that house quickly, speed, and less money in your pocket. Awesome, good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a fun project, so I'm looking forward to the finish out. All right, yeah, thank, thank you. you.